What is up YouTube? This is Fortress Trigger and today I'm going to be going ahead and present my next day profile of the tournament power which is Jiren, Universe 11 also known as the Pride Troopers. It was already released today as I already gave out my review. If you guys want to check out the review you may go ahead or go ahead and just check out yourselves on the side to see all the tournament powers being revealed and wait till next week when we get the super rares and the week after that the secret rares. Until then let's get straight to the deck profile. Now uh, Jiren is our leader for the deck, and uh, he's very not, he's actually not bad for how freaky yellow can be since we know how uh, trolly yellow is in this game. So first, obviously Jiren's uh, current effect is like every other leader in the game from the other universes. Pack a leader, draw a card, uh, awakens to activate two energies, and so forth. And it's obviously the awaken effect, which is Jiren, the ultimate warrior. And his effect states, when this card attacks, you draw a card. At the end of your turn, choose up to two of your Universe 11 battle cards and switch them to active form. Now, that's similar to basically like the uh, Galactic Warrior Frieza, where it has the same other effect of that, uh, but for like any kind of card in the battle area. But in this build, it basically goes ahead and resolves where in this deck, uh, the Universe 11 cards make your opponent's battle cards go to rest mode a lot and that way you can go ahead and kill their cards and they become so abundantly annoying sometimes which is what i like because i like troll so let's get straight to the deck profiles now i played two of the type of troll trunks as my only black cards because we do need to search some certain cards or place them in the top cards you know that, that way i can go ahead and then use my other card effects to search certain cards that i need to get next we play the cocote zone and it's our negate we play four of it uh, you negate an attack, and then if your leader card is Universe 11, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and switch it to rest mode. Uh, pretty decent card to use. Uh, if you're not really a fan of what this card is, uh, can be useful for in certain yellow decks or whatever, you can always switch it out for the Flying Nimbus. But in this uh, typical build, I like to go ahead and use this for now because, uh, like I said, the idea is to make sure you get all your opponent's cards in rest mode and make sure you get to get rid of those annoying battle cards cards like obviously like red Jiren, obviously for example or the ales or anything else like i always say because they can be really annoying in the game all right and of course we got our one drop uh universe 11 searcher you know look at the top three cards at universe 11 that's your hand simple as that next i since this deck dissolves with rest i decided to go ahead and play Two perfect support ball months with her effects. Then you choose one of your opponent's battle cards with a cost of energy, with an energy cost of three or less. Put it in rest mode. That's it. That's it for it. That way you can go ahead and have Jiren just straight up attack it or any other cards you want to kill it. And then of course we play four youthful ball months because we need draw power so we can go ahead and get, get to our resources as soon as possible. Uh, next for our energy two draws we got hero combination Kunshi. His effect is activating during the main. Once per turn, choose one of your uh, cards in your life, add it to your hand. And if another Universe 11 is in play in your battle area, choose one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of 4 or less and switch it to rest mode. That's about it, man. This card uh, pretty much can actually go ahead and help not only uh, help you self awaken, but you're already going to take, like I said, take annoyance to your opponent's best cards like which are mainly also four drops uh next we play four hero combination buons whose perfect effect states during your turn if another universe 11 is in play in the barrier this card gains 5000 power and at the end of the turn switch this card to active mode so yes he's our burger of the deck and uh, certain some of the cards have i it works saying if you need to have like another universe 11 on the board which which is fine anyway because the deck is already as trolly as it is so i need to have a little balance there so with buon obviously he gains 5000 so he's 15 attack to your opponent's cards simple as that uh super combos of the deck is key bomb support coquette obviously we know what they do in tournament powers uh the, the universe is tight they basically do uh 10,000 plus one with five or less life uh, instead of the basic four or less uh, next, I play one non-universe uh, card from um, 11 card from the tournament power, and that's Protein being Machikayo because he's just your two-drop critical, exactly like the Quick Rush Trunks, 
and I need to, we should play this because we need we want to go ahead and just screw our opponent up. Like I said, the deck is already as trolly as it is, and why not be make it more trolly with uh, this type of card? Like I said, the only downside it's that it's Universe three, not eleven, but that doesn't mean for the fact we still can't play it. And of course, we gotta play Explosive Spirit Son Goku. Uh, I'm currently just playing two for now. So later on, see how I can shoot the deck around. But if two is fine, I'll just leave it as it is. And uh, it's really great how we can just go ahead and kill off my our opponent's uh, cards and rest mode. Since when you play this card, choose one of your opponent's cards and rest mode and KOs it. So simple that. And it's a blocker, it's a barrier, and it has the burger effect. So that way you can go ahead and protect yourself. Uh, next, we play four of the hero combination kettle. So he has barrier. Uh, his permanent is that if there are two or more universe 11 other than this card in play in your battle area, this card gains 5,000 power for and double strike. Uh, so, if just similar to the Khalifa card in the universe 6 set, uh, this is our Khalifa for, the, for this set. And it's really great to see how uh, amazing this card can do. Uh, next, we play four secret vitality Jurens. And I'm going to say, you guys, this is amazing. So what he does is that when you play this card, and if your leader is Universe 11, you place a yellow card from your hand into the draw area. And if you do so, choose up to two of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode, and KOs it. Similar to what the Mecha Frieza, which uh, lets you discard a card and choose up to two of your opponent's cards and then just KOs it and then does the dual attack thing, this card does it automatically, and it's one less than the Mecha Frieza. It's exactly 15,000, and it already is so... It's always so busted to be playable, and I really can't wait once we get the 10 drop super rare next week because I want to see how well it works and deserves. Because obviously, you're, it's going to end up evolving over to this, but let's see what happens afterwards. All right, and uh, finally, for the final force, uh, we got Swift Warrior Dispo, which is our combo summon since it's for the Universe 11s, and then finally, Ally of Justice Topo. Uh, and please not be confused if you heard Ally of Justice before from like Yuya, but yeah. So what he does is that when you play this card, if your leader card is Universe 11, look at the top 10 cards at the top of your deck, choose up to two Universe 11s with an energy cost of three or less among them, and play them in rest mode. Then shuffle your deck. It's just so amazing. So he's the only four drop that we have in the uh, yellow deck until the 10 drop Jiren comes out, if it's good or not. But besides the point, this helps a lot, especially with the Awakening Jiren leader effect. To choose up to two of your battle cards and put them in active mode. It works together with that and it's well done, deserved for Topo. And uh, if anything, you can all, if, if you don't have to pick all of them, so if you also have, uh, sorry, <laughs> let's scroll, we have to use your Vuan so you can already summon it and not big deal. But other than that, you know, if it doesn't work out, you can just shuffle them back and then, you know. Just he's still, still got like a 20k beat stick, but in the end it doesn't matter. Like but that effect does really require to work well with the Awakening Jiren. So, uh, like I said, the deck is really compatible with itself. They work together. That's why they're called the Pride Troopers. They work to the very end, no matter what. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that will be the Universe 11 Pride Troopers Jiren deck profile. I hope you guys enjoy this. I really, really am psyched with Yellow. I may as well may want to try this deck because. Yellow is my color, and I'm very psyched now. We finally got Jiren here. I am I am going to admit, if you haven't talked about the rumor, that the rumor stay in the world. His awakening was originally going to be planned as the rumor states. Uh, end of turn, choose two of your energies, uh, put them in active mode, and then KO one for your opponent's cards, which that would have been so great. But uh, nonetheless, I got no problem because I, I, I get the idea how the deck works. So I hope you guys enjoy this deck profile. Uh, there will be updates for of the other decks when we get the other cards to be revealed next time. So with that, guys, let me know in the comment section below what you like about this deck. Uh, what fixings could there be? If anything, I'd be like be glad to hear. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, give this video a like, share it to your friends, subscribe if you're new. And this is Fortress Striker signing off.